coming to check out this video. So today's video is a synthetic wig review. This wig review is sponsored by Glamour Trust. Thank you so much Glamour Trust for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into this wig. It's by Vanessa and this is their top super C lace part and this wig is called Robust um, and it's in the color Chestnut. This is their Brazilian Remy Yaki texture wig and I was in love with their other wig which was called Bella so definitely check out that review and stay tuned for this one. So this is a lace front wig. You do have to cut off the lace and there is a little bit of lace to work with around the edge. The part is a C-shaped part. There are two combs in the front on the side, one comb in the back and your two adjustable straps. So I am going to more than likely I'm going to take some hair out of the part and lately to do that what I've been doing is I will literally just go in with a scissor and just take a little bit of hair and get as close to the part as I can and literally just cut away some of the hair just to open up that part and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can or not. But I do have another video where I did this. And I'll literally just take whatever hair I cut and just take it off of the wig. And whatever little strands I left behind, I actually don't even pluck them out of the wig. I literally just use some foundation and just color color those little strands of hair that are sticking up. Um, but it's good enough for me to just get the look that I want without having to do all that plucking and potentially ripping my lace. I just really hate when I make a mistake and rip my lace. Oddly enough, this wig is literally like the same color as my foundation. So I don't know if we're even gonna really be able to see the part because this hair is like the same exact color as my foundation color. I feel like it's the same color as my skin tone. <laughs> so we might have just literally been able to like skip this step. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the lace, take my head wrap off, and then go ahead and try on this wig. If you're interested in ordering a head wrap, I do make them myself. They're on my website. It's www.ankarastreets.com, and you can use the coupon code Ankara Clients to save yourself 15% if you like your own head wrap made by me. I forgot to show you how this wig looks straight out the pack. So, it is quite long. There are darker color, there's a darker color underneath and a honey brown color at the top. Um, the wig is yakky, but it's definitely not as yakky as the Bella wig. And the layers look like they're really nice and long and not super, super curly. So I think this is gonna have like a really soft feminine look. Um, and I'm excited. The luster looks really bright there, but it's really not that shiny here. It actually has a nice natural luster. So let's put her on. Alright you guys, so this is robust and yeah, I'm really 
liking this unit in terms of the cut, the style, and this wavy flowiness of it. I also really like it for the texture. Um, two cons that I'm definitely noticing is this wig is shedding and this color is blending too much with my skin tone. Like, this is not my color. I just, I don't like it. Yeah, I wish I had gotten this color like down here, which is almost like a dark 99J. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing that I'm not liking about the wig and the shedding. The shedding is just insane. Um, and the wig tangled up on me. I literally had to just cut out two knots. So the wig tangled up on me and it's shedding. And you know what? I think this Vanessa collection, it just sheds. Like Because my last wig from them was shedding like an animal too. Um, but I still love that wig and I, I wore that wig anyway because to me like shedding, tangling, crap like that, like I don't really care about stuff like that. When I get synthetic wigs, I don't comb them, I don't brush them, I don't wear them more than like for four or five hours at a time. I don't wear them for longer than like maybe a week each. So longevity of the wig, tangling, shedding, stuff like that, it doesn't really bother me because it's a synthetic wig. Now, what I love about the unit is the length. I think it's absolutely perfect. Um, the length is gorgeous. The cut of the wig is absolutely stunning. Like, I, wow, I love the way the wig flows. I think this wig is pretty damn close to perfection. Like, in terms of the waves it look it really reminds me of a brazilian body wave texture and then the cut of it looks almost like the way i wear my closures and my bundles like this hair is giving me all types of brazilian bundle vibes but it's definitely a synthetic wig. And then the texture I think is dope. It's that really light yakky that looks like you just got a fresh relaxer. And I'm here for it. I like this wig. I mean, I think there's a couple downsides. Um, tangling and shedding is one. And then the color that I chose in this wig. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for chestnut again. It's a little too close to my skin tone. It's washing me out. And then this bright pink lipstick is not really helping either. Wrong choice. So anyway, you guys, let me know what you think about this wig. I think it's cute or whatever if it was in a 1B. <laughs> All right, you guys, stay tuned for the slow-mos. And thanks so much, Glamour Trust, for sending it over. If you want to get this wig, I'll leave a link down to the website down below.